Hi and welcome to the International Club in East Road. If you want to come on down, we'll show you around the lovely establishment. So, down the stairs into this wonderful basement private members club. Be careful there, Ben. Into the reception area. There we go, it's a receptionist. A very beautiful receptionist as well. Now, follow, follow through this way. Now, very modest internet cafe. A number of terminals. A dozen or so. Just people playing some poker. Freddy surfing his Facebook. Looking for his Thai bride. <laughs> we'll walk on through to the lounge area. Bar. Mostly staff at the bar was always worrying. And our games arena. Always good to see it. Full up with lots of people having fun. I've just walked up to Jono and he goes, last time I was interviewed, it was by the old Bill. It was quite funny. Yeah, marvellous. <laughs> now, anyone who doesn't know Jono, he's the un... He's the unluckiest. He's the unluckiest player. He's getting heckled by all the uh, by the fat boys in the corner. The unluckiest player in the club. How would you get this mantle, jo uh, Jono? Final two tables, Jono. They call me. Why? Get down to the final two tables. The club turns it into a crapshoot. Makes it eleven, and I can't win. So a tournament lasts eleven hours is a crapshoot, is it? The, the final two hours, when it turns into a crapshoot, that's when. I got no chance. Or would you say, uh, flip side, that your chip management's really poor, that you haven't got enough chips in the later stages? Maybe, maybe that's right. Oh. Oh, I'm just putting it to. Oh, oh, I think you're a great player. I'm a tight player. Yeah. Too tight. So yesterday, bad beat? No, not a bad beat. Stop and go to India. Flopped and up and down. Pushed and she called with ace high. She had to call. She was getting three to one. She dwelled up for about three minutes and then made the call and I missed. So that was it. Good game. So, you said it was a mistake on your behalf? What, the hand? Yeah, no, 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 that, that, that you basically priced her in so she had to call? No, I think it's the best way to play the hand against her because she was possibly going to fold the ace high where other people would just call instantly. She was really thinking of folding. I thought it was the best way to play the hand against a particular player. Because she does play pretty solid, doesn't she? And well, she About an hour before, she had like, the blinds are two and four thousand. She made it twelve thousand blind on blind. Left herself with 20,000, the big blind shoved for 25k more and she folded, like she raised fold half her stack. So it's the be it was the best way to play that hand against her. I couldn't really let the blinds go through me. I had 55,000, the blinds were 4 and 8,000. I thought I'd make her stand with his hand. I flopped the best, probably the best flop I could have flopped. And I just missed. She called and I missed. You're obviously playing tonight. Yep. Looking forward to it? Yep, as always. Yep. like to play live poker. I don't play so much no more, but... We well, play online most of the time. Mainly online and playing the festivals, the GUKPT festivals. I haven't played here so much recently, but it's good to be back at the picked, old place. You picked the old new place. Yeah. You picked a good week to come back anyway with the, with the, uh, with the festival, weren't you? Yeah, some good comps. You play the PLO? Nah. You're, you're a star at the PLO. I played with a few PLO comps. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, you I'm play, nice. the, the play the main, the monkey event? Yeah, yeah, probably. Cool. Well, best of luck tonight, Jono, and uh, you'll be watching it on the Gut Shot um, yeah. site later. Well, is that going to be on there? Absolutely. Right. But while Jono was chatting to us over there, these boys were heckling. <laughs> what, what are you, the Backstreet Kids? Jono's fan club. What's that? Jono's fan club. Really? Jono's fan club. Yeah, he's the unluckiest man in the world. <laughs> he's unluckier than John Merrick. <laughs> That's the best player I never took. I'm surprised yeah. you could get his head in that screen. <laughs> there you go. Unluckier than John Merrick. You're hearing it first from the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Now, someone who isn't shy and who's been the stalwart this week is Mr. Howard Smith, who's currently blogging as we speak. Now, Howard, um, not an, another interesting day yesterday. Oh, yes. And I must say, I read your post, and it was really from the heart you, about your hotel room and 27 hours in a day and not sleeping well and stuff. You, you, is this the right preparation for uh, uh, another big event? That's the only way I know, Barry. <laughs> Hate it, love it. What can I do? What can you do? Back for some more sickness. Definitely. Okay. Um, Ace is the first time round. You're going to fold them, or you're going to just open push. Open push. You know what? I, I was thinking about that. If you're going to, if you're going to get some paid, you're going to probably going to get some action against maybe kings or queens, or maybe Ace King suited if some numpty wants to call you. Um, but did he tell you the hand he had? Um, he claims to have had sevens. 
I'm just posting it up now so I can get some views from maybe Andy, Achillea, maybe Terry, Simpson, obviously Mr. Greco, maybe yourself. I'd like to get some views on it. It's a very interesting hand. And uh, I hadn't really thought about some of the issues before. I, I actually went over, when you mentioned it on the forum earlier, I was thinking about it. I actually think you made the right play. I, I don't see what hand he could have that you weren't actually, what, that you was beating. I thought at the time, even on the flop, he had a set. And, I, and I'm really thinking I should let it go on the flop and move on. And that that's something I've got to learn about. Um, I did think about it more overnight, and now I'm actually beginning to think he might have had ace three of clubs, and that he's really made a move on me, and he knows that I don't want to get bust on the first hand of a tournament. Yeah, but uh, uh, he must have played with you before to know that you know you're the H bomb. You you could easily make this play with just one pair. <laughs> it's interesting. I played with him for 45 minutes before in the one-one Hold'em game, where I've let him catch aces full on the river, uh, in a pot where I flopped a set and turned a house. You see me pay that off. You see me make a hero call against Ewan with ace nine. So he may think that I'm uh, going to call his raise, and that's why maybe he's betting so much, even though he has a set. On the other hand, uh, as I'm thinking about it later, I'm thinking if he has a set of sevens, he knows he's gin. Why does he make it so much on the flop? Maybe he does have nine, ten of clubs. Maybe he thinks you've got aces and you're not going to lay them down. It's a wonderful game, isn't it? It's a wonderful game. Good luck tonight, Howard. Thanks.